so good to be home, man. Um, New York is uh, not only the best, uh, the hottest city in the world. Um, uh, Tacoma, Washington is not. Uh, <laughs> no, it is seriously so great to be back here. And on Valentine's Day? What day is it for you, sir? Ash what? Wednesday. Oh, it's Ash Wednesday? I'm a Jew, I don't know what that is. Oh. <laughs> Something that was a theme on the road for us, which was super cool. A lot of people were going on first dates to our show, because um, I think it guarantees you like a better date, because you it will be better than what you see up here. Um, but <laughs> Is there anyone on a first date here? Yeah. Whoa. 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 On Valentine's Day, bro, you better get some, uh, you better get head, bro. <laughs> That's a cool Valentine's Day, man. First date, too. I love it. Um, I'd love to watch you if it happens. Uh, <laughs> we did have a lot of people report to us after updating. Anyone that was on a first date, they texted us after. And I think um, out of like the maybe 20 random dates that happened. I think like maybe 10 of them had sex. Um, and I think um, uh, maybe one of those girls was satisfied by the guy. <laughs> you know what I love about New York? Here's what's great. Like I said, we did shows in Portland, uh, Tacoma, uh, Phoenix, you name it. We literally went everywhere. A lot of the dates were working on the road. And they and we do know, because some of them, they did, they did sleep with each other after. And I'm like, what the fuck, New York, man? It's a lot harder. But then I realized, oh yeah, we're in Portland. If you throw two people breathing, Breathing on a stage here, they'll like each other. <laughs> they don't really have a lot to pick from, um, you know, in the mountains there. Um, New York, though, we could have two people. We could have like a like a girl meet a guy that's like seven feet tall and like and, and like you know like a doctor, and she's like, ugh, like his just his arms aren't right. Um, <laughs> this is the pickiest fucking place in the world. Who here's single? I like that. You are you 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 just raise your hand, but you're is that your sister? This is just my friend. Uh, <laughs> I just fucking ruined that for you. Uh, you seem like a nice guy, though. I hope you, I hope at least you get a hand job or something later. And then couples here. I love him, man. Harrison, why, I'm excited, man. Did I uh, did hey, I miss anything it's here? It's great to be back in New York. Oh, it's great I love to it, be man. Finally back I in New York. I love it here. Great. <laughs> Greatest city in the world. Are you ready to meet your first contestant? All right. Ladies, gentlemen, put your hands together for Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, thanks for coming on our show. Um, one quick thing, we don't do age, um, profession. Dude, holy fuck. <laughs> the fuck are you doing with your feet? You are, I have such bad, I have anxiety already right now. I gotta, uh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get comfortable. I like, uh, good, good. No, you're, yeah. uh, <laughs> so Kevin, uh, tell us about you and then the kind of girl you're looking for, man. Sure. Well, my name's Kevin. I'm a, a nice Jewish boy from New Jersey. Yeah! Oh, you won't be hanging out with the Ash Wednesday people. <laughs> Probably not. Wow, Kevin, I, I think I'm stuck with you later. Uh, keep going. I'd say I'm looking for uh, someone who's uh, definitely social. I'm a pretty high energy, pretty social guy. So someone who can kind of match that a little bit. Yeah, no, it seems like when you came up here, you did coke right before this. <laughs> I, I've, I, I've never done it actually, and I, I was told that I shouldn't because it would, it would probably just put me into overdrive um, and, and scare some people. I, yeah, I think so, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't drink coffee either. Well, you're one of those. Uh, uh, I was told I don't need it, and I, I don't think I do either. Did, it, so. did you go to a doctor at like 15 and say, hey, I think I'm gonna do coffee, should I do it? <laughs> they were like, Kevin, you've taken enough Adderall in your life, you don't, probably don't need that. So with your type of energy, what's that like with girls? You finish probably real quick. <laughs> not, not, not at all, actually. <laughs> Wait, really? Uh, there's a lot of, uh, no, yeah, how, there's a lot of stamina. How, how, how long are you lasting in these situations? Uh, a, long, a long time. <laughs> wow, uh, I, wow, I envy you. What's, why, how, what's that? Uh, or, or no, not how. I don't. I don't. I kind of don't want to know. How. I was ready to tell you, but. Uh, yeah. How do you last so long? Uh, antidepressants mostly. Oh. 
Way to make that depressing. I, I, hey, hey, embrace it, right? Come on. You seem like a super emotional guy, so it seems like in a relationship you would be very, very like, uh, just like a lot. Um, or, or, so describe that, because um, I kind of find myself a little similar to you. No, you're 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 spot on. Um, I I can be a lot, uh, and I can I can be a lot for myself. So I think finding someone who can handle that is is important. Um, I also like to think that I'm pretty self-aware though, so. I can understand when I'm being a lot and, um, you know, try to manage it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Scale of one to 10, how badly slash, you know, desperate are you right now looking for that person? Like how, how intense is that feeling right now? Yeah, how badly? We're, we're, we're gonna let it come, you know? We're, <laughs> we're, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna force anything by going on like some dating show or anything crazy like that. Uh, <laughs> That's what you're saying. I love it, man. Yeah, this is like almost like, you know, when you, it's, like, it's like purgatory for dating. Like if you end up here, it's like, you know, this is the end. Like, <laughs> my last question for you is, what do you think you do the best? Like uh, A, in a, in a relationship and then B, in the bedroom. Like what do you think your skill is? Other than lasting five hours, uh, <laughs> but that might hurt them. But like, so what's then something you do, you know, what's something you do really well? In a relationship, I would just say generally, I'm a very affectionate person so um that can come in a lot of different forms i'll leave it at that happy to go into more detail if you want uh, uh yeah, wow yeah you could give one more de you could give a detail <laughs> detail or, or or two um yeah you could do no, one yeah. so, so um no i, I just I, I i like uh I, I like taking care of somebody somebody else right so um whether it's if we put it in the love languages context, whether it's you know acts of services or providing gifts or spending some meaningful quality time, uh, all that kind of stuff. I like Kevin. I mean, like, clap it up for Kevin. A <laughs> couple rapid fire just to keep building your character. You seem like a smart guy. Where'd you go to college? Georgetown. Whoa. Whoa. Next one. What's something about your your physique that you would change? This might sound weird because I, I'm. Not short, but I, I, if I was a couple inches taller, I, I feel like I'd be even more dangerous. <laughs> Should we hear the kinkiest thing he's done? Do you guys yeah. want to find that? Out? All right. Yeah, just, let's end off It there. is Valentine's Day, so just tell us the craziest. Yeah. Let's end off there. Um, well, I'm into power dynamics, so I'm, I'm very dominant in the bedroom, but um, I, uh, I do enjoy switching that up every now and then and being the more submissive one. Oh, I love that. You're just laying there like, we got another hour and a half. <laughs> so on that note, stand uh, up there, Kevin. And guys, give it up for Kevin. He's opening up. New York City, are you ready? Please, please welcome Julia to the stage. So Julia, uh, who exactly are you and what exactly is the kind of guy that you're looking for here tonight? Um, what exactly am I? I'm a wild card. <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna get with me. Um, oh. I could vary from, you know, sweet, wholesome girl to wild, feral, I'm down for a good time. <laughs> Woo. So, Pick your poison. Do you like a guy that's kind of a wild card or is it the opposite for you where you want a guy that's, um, you know, not like you, like that? Um, match my energy. Um, well, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, have someone for me? I'm not gonna say anything, uh, but we got a guy that's w with his sister over there. We could, uh, <laughs> well, I guess like if you were to describe um, your last relationship, exactly what was the guy like and then why didn't it work? The last guy I was with was the exact polar opposite of me. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying I need someone to match my energy, because that's why it didn't work. And oh my God. What, what was one specific thing that went wrong with him? It was just boring. I felt like I was in a cage, and now I'm let free. <laughs> uh, and um, Wait, Brandon, should we find out what she's done since she's been let free? How's that been going? <laughs> oh, oh, actually, that is a good question. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't know if you want to know. Yeah, we do. No, actually, no, we do. It's... <laughs> All 
All right, so I'll leave it at this. I'm from Staten Island. It's pretty common for the guys on Staten Island to still live at home with their parents. So um, you could say that I was sneaking through basement windows for a late night hookup. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, see. So, Tuck and roll, baby. Wait, that's the crazy thing? I would say that's pretty crazy. Oh, you ever do uh, anal or any of that? Or, uh... <laughs> yes. Oh. oh. Um, I wait, by the way, I'm sorry, I get, by the way, when someone says they've done anal, I get like starstruck. I'm like, whoa, like, I, 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 No, I didn't say that. Oh, you, wait, that's really cool. I've never been invited to a session, um, but, <laughs> but do you like it? Like, do you do it often or it's just like casual? It's like a once in a blue moon, like, here's a little treat. Do you, in the bedroom, uh, like being, uh, dominant or recessive? I, well. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I, I, uh. I'm sorry. I think I, um, I think I took a pill before this. Uh, do you, uh, I, I was, I've been reading too many science books. Uh, do you like being the dominant or, or the submissive? Listen, uh, I love when a man takes control. Like, that's the man's job. You do you. But I will say, if you have a few tequila shots in me, the roles might reverse. Oh, oh, <laughs> I love that. Because I love laying there. Uh, uh, I'm uh, not a pillow princess. I'm, that's not for me. Do you like going for a while, or do you like a guy that's super quick? Long enough to enjoy it. Uh, when it's too long, it's like, all right. You know? It's fun, though. It's, co it's cozy. Let's finish up here. Yeah, I get that. Uh, I mean, uh, Brandon, I like Julia. You bring a certain yeah. vibration to the stage. Clap it up for Julia. <laughs> yeah, Harris. Uh, Harris. Thank you, guys. And, and Julie, what do you like to do outside the pad room? If one activity with a partner, what's your favorite? I box, I run, okay. I hike, anything outside with a partner. I love a fun activity. Introduce me to something new, mansplain it all. That's attractive. Oh. That, that's a cool comment. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I love a good mansplainer. Oh. Brandon, oh. I love Julia. The crowd does. Give it up for yeah. Julia. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Kevin. So, uh, Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Hello. Kevin, do you hear that voice? That's me. <laughs> Kevin. I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Julia. Nice to meet you. Sorry, was it, was it Julia? Julia, yeah. What Very nice you? to meet you. You too, Kevin. <laughs> so, Kevin, do you want to tell Julie why you think you ended up here today? Like, what? Like, Let me what? Hear it. Your past year, maybe, like dating. Your, tell her about your life, man. Yeah, sure. So, I uh, moved to this area like a year and a half ago and uh, haven't been with anyone super consistent since I moved here. So, very single right now and uh, looking, to, looking to meet somebody. Welcome to the party. <laughs> oh, have you ever gone through a basement window, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Julia, do you want to maybe, I know fitness might be important, do you want to maybe feel Kevin's arms? What's going on here? Oh, okay. All right. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you want to feel mine? <laughs> your, your what? <laughs> you want to feel my arm? I'll flex for you. I'll, here, I'll hold your hands. <gasps> oh! So, Kevin. Are you, are you chanting also? Yes. Cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, Kevin, you just brought things to such a level that um, <laughs> this guy with his sister over here just grabbed her. Uh, what's the hottest thing you could do now? Like, what's a move you could make to move it to escalate this day, make it fucking hot? Do you want me to tell you or just do it? Yeah. Oh! Listen, I did say I like a man with a plan. Oh my God, Kevin! 
take it away. Kevin. Kevin. I, I don't think we've ever seen that move on this show. No. <laughs> um, Jul uh, Julia. I'm not mad about it. So then tell him what you're not mad about. You know, feeling up on my leg. <laughs> and, and Kevin, are, are, you a legs, are you a legs guy? Like, how important is that in, in your plan? Yes, ver very much a legs guy. You want to feel her kneecaps well, on? Well, we're pretty lucky. <laughs> Gonna stick to the upper thigh, but. <laughs> I also love though he just. Like, eh. <laughs> it's like, he's got a nice hand. Uh, um, I, I think you, your your legs are crossed right now. I, I think. Mine. Yeah. They are. No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Do you want to feel Kevin's legs now? Do you want to feel them? <laughs> Why not? Go higher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, you know what I'm feeling? <laughs> it's a feeling that'll last very long. <laughs> I mean, Kevin, uh, a lot of people have been liking these moves you've been making. What's the next one, motherfucker? <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I'm, I'm And, and it I'm is thinking, Valentine's like, one Day. One of these guys. Oh. Loving the physical touch, one of the love languages. <gasps> oh. So have you brought that up? Kevin, uh, in the spirit of Valentine's Day, let's say you and Julia were dating. Walk us through the evening and include the final piece of that, the bedroom. What would actually happen? <laughs> I'd love to know. It would be a very nice, it would be a very nice dinner. Maybe hit a little bit of a dance floor. Ooh. It could be, it, it depends. Could be you a little speak easy vibe, but maybe it's a little bit of a dance floor. It depends how liquored up we get. Oh my God, I'm getting hard. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> and then there would be a, a good amount of like physical touch. Because that's my, my main love language. So, all right, Kevin, so you call the Uber to go home. What happens next? <laughs> yeah, let's find out what, what, everyone's, I... what everyone's waiting for. Um, yeah, <laughs> so, we, we want to find yeah. out how you fuck. Okay. So, <laughs> so um, when, when, that ha when, when the time comes, um, I'll, we'll probably get back to my place, make a couple drinks, start on the couch, okay. most likely, and... Uh, kind of get comfortable there and once define comfortable <laughs> making out How uh, comfortable. You, you know maybe lose a couple articles <laughs> of clothing his answer has felt like a take TED it all talk. off it's felt like a ted talk this entire answer <laughs> i'm very uh <laughs> like good with my hands i guess and like i said i'm, I'm into physical touch so Ooh, there would there would be man. you know Back of the neck massaging, um, like lower back massaging. Um, what about the other backside? Would you be doing that? <laughs> I would definitely, I would definitely be grabbing your ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of, I, I like tugging at the clothing that's on you, you know. And like I said, probably, probably lose a couple, a uh, couple articles of clothing at at that point. How does it sound so far? Sounds amazing. I, I, I love it, man. By the way, I, you're very descriptive, and it sounds and 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 uh, and actually, I have a quick little cool thing there, Kevin. And this is full transparency. This is a very open room. Have you ever done anal? Have I ever done anal? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> oh. Uh, 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 and you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone. Someone from the crowd wants to know if, if you've ever had something in your, you know. Yes. He's, he's a real man. That's what I like to hear. And actually, now what was it, Kevin? Like, what was the? Was it an op? Was it a strap on, or what was that? Well, uh, yeah, uh, it, it, I, yeah, it was, it was plastic. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's a good man. I thought we were talking about like fingers or something, <laughs> or a tongue like that. It was a toy. Yeah. Okay. He's a real man. I like that. What do you, I mean. I like that. You gotta respect the honesty. For oh my God. 
Julia, uh, yes. would you, uh, how do you, you, now you, you like that? You down for that? I mean, I'm down for anything. <laughs> I mean, Harris him. Uh, uh, on that note, Brandon, Things I mean, are really heating up. They're, they're, are they still holding hands? They are. So, uh, <laughs> those hands are getting very sweaty. No. <laughs> so uh, you guys are going to see each other soon. You can either hug, kiss, or put a finger in Kevin's ass. Yes. <laughs> Uh, totally up to yeah, you what guys. Do you wanna, what do you guys want to do? Finger! Finger! <laughs> I want the finger! Finger! Whatever you guys want, give him a kiss there. Kiss! Kiss! Yeah, well, I know, it's, it's very difficult. That was nice. Kevy, how you doing there, man? That was nice. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> the blindfolds are gonna come off, but right before that, thumb up if you are into the person next to you, thumb down if you are not in five, four, three, two, one. Down. Right, put it, put it, put that down now. All right. So on that note, <laughs> and Kevin, those thumbs. Uh, or not... Julia could keep that thumb and put it in another. <laughs> on that note, the blindfolds are gonna come off in five, four, three, two, one. Hello. You're cute. So are you. <laughs> hey, guys. You're very pretty. Thank you. I like your eyes. I like your eyes. I like your hair, though. Oh, Even better. Thank you. Proud of myself. Is it straight naturally? Mm, a little wave to it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I, I love it. I'm listening to, looking at Kevin. I'm like, am I actually exactly like this guy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like you really, I relate to you and it's weird. I usually yeah. don't relate to anyone. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I'm the only fucking weirdo in this world. But it's good to know you're there. Uh, <laughs> and Julia, is there anything surprising about his face that you weren't expecting? Honestly, I didn't really put a picture to your voice. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh. Do you want to make any moves right now, Kevin? Sure. Right back to where we started. Wow, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, masturbate later. Okay. Uh, all right, so on that note, things are about to get very, very intense. I want you both to look straight and close your eyes. Okay. You guys are going to put your thumb up <laughs> if you are interested in the person next to you. Thumb down if you are not in five, Four, three, two, one. Yeah. 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 Open up, open up. Kevin, no, open up your eyes, not your cheeks. <laughs> so Harrison. Brandon, I have some news. You're not gonna like it. I don't, cause I don't uh, wanna fuck this. I want this to stay where uh, it is. I'm devastated. There is. A guy in the crowd who said Kevin won't eat her ass like I would. Oh. Bring him up. Oh. Bring him up. Oh. Live. So we'll, we'll announce the name. And uh, wait. Ke Kevin's blindfold. Now that's a good one. Yeah, Kevin, you put your blindfold on also. <laughs> Kevin, this guy isn't coming up for you. He's coming up for her. <laughs> Should you just keep them on? Harrison, have them all put right, them on. All right, just put it on. Just put, put them on. Because I don't now want I'm you right. here putting it on. It, it's, <laughs> put it on. <laughs> I don't want him to have to deal with this pain. Put it on. Uh, put it on. <laughs> all right. Is there a read in the crowd? You're going to 
get one minute. A read. Is there a read out Read. There? Read. <laughs> Fuck is read. Where is this guy? Hey, read. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's, coming. From the... oh, he's upstairs. Oh, wow. Oh, Wait, whoa. Oh, my God. I'm right here. Who the fuck are you? Yo, you know, I feel like God just dropped. The hardest guy. Oh. Yo, take a bow, bro. Do you want to do 10 push-ups quickly? Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, do it. Do 10 push-ups. You can't look like that. Fuck, I don't even want to hear him speak. I just want, does it, this is the guy you just throw on the bed and start fucking the shit out of. Oh my God, you are like a, you know that wealthy people, like a guy, a, a fat old guy goes, you know what, you're gonna fuck my wife tonight. Oh my, oh my um, God, my parents wouldn't be able to last two seconds with you in the room. I don't I, even, make, make some noise if you want to bang raid. Yeah. So, so Reed, you know the rules. One minute, uh, take her heart away. Yeah. Why are you the guy? For I'm Julia? intrigued. Actually, stand right here because if you're, if you're too close to me, it's gonna be a big problem. <laughs> All right. So, so stand right here. Um, so Reed. Oh my God. What the fuck? By the way, we really are back in New York because people. I, I mean, my crazy. People don't normally look like this. Okay. Uh, I fucking I Christ. almost think he shouldn't even speak. I don't even want him. I don't even... just want to... Wait, I want to just uh, start watching you hump. Uh, All right. So, Reed, what is your pitch to Julia? Why are you the guy? Well, Julia... <laughs> you're athletic, very cute, and the adventurous part really got me. Like, that is huge. <laughs> I think you should go back to not speaking. <laughs> so, re so, re uh, so, re uh, all right, everyone pipe down. This guy's got a big cock. Uh, <laughs> Brandon, maybe we give Reed the option. He could either keep speaking or have Julia feel his arms. Oh. Bring, bring him, bring him. Oh! Wow. Okay. Here we go. Come back. Wait, you feel his Do you want to feel his abs too, Julia? Please, yeah. Oh. Go under the shirt. Do you want to show the crowd your abs now, sir? <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, show the upstairs. They want to see too. And Reed, uh, just tell us one thing about yourself. Like, where, where you went to college? Like, we need to know one thing. I'm a fellow Hoya, Georgetown. Oh, what? Wait, what? I have a question, Reed. Um, so, um, uh, and here's the rules. You came on the stage. Kevin's been up here. He opened up in many ways, many times in his life before the show, but also on, <laughs> but also on stage. Um, have you ever done anything with your uh, backside? Not my own, no. No. <laughs> well, how about we change that right now, motherfucker? <laughs> It is gonna come down to a decision. We want to make sure it's fair, though. Also, I'm gonna give you my seat right there. I don't like. I want you sitting in it. Is okay. Reed here? <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, decisions, decisions. So, is there anything that you need to find out before you make your decision? I kind of want to hear both of their pickup lines. Like, I'll give them a scenario and oh, see oh, like who's that. gonna win me over. I'm gonna set the scene. Close your eyes. You're out at a bar, and you see 
a girl with her group of friends, all girls having the time of their lives, not a care in the world, dancing like literally no one's watching. I'm talking like doing the worm break dancing in the bar. But you see this girl and you want her. You're like, I have to have her. What are you doing? What's your pickup line? Reads like. <laughs> <laughs> And Kevin's doing the worm already. <laughs> and Kevin's in, with me in the corner. We're like, bro, we have so much anxiety. <laughs> Kevin, you go first. What's your pickup line? Yeah. I mean, I, to be honest, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't use a, a pickup line. I, I, I find them cheesy and, and uh, ineffective most of the time. But... Uh, it, it, would, it would be a confident, uh, uh, hi, hi, I'm Kevin. Uh, I think you're gorgeous and uh, I'd love to buy you a drink. No! Make some noise! And Reed. Yeah. I agree, pickup lines don't really work, but if you're dancing, the music's loud, you kind of just like give each other a glance and you kind of know. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Julia, is that, is that it? Any, any other split questions? Because that was good. Any How last long one? Do you last? Oh. oh! By the way, based off the way you scream, um, people last a very long time with you. <laughs> uh -huh. I would be like, I cannot come right now. Uh -huh. I'd be like, shut the fuck up. Uh -huh. So I do actually, so Reed, um, how long do you last? Uh, used to be an endurance runner. Like it lasts a good a bit of time. I don't know as much as Kevin, but <laughs> we'll have fun. How long? How long? 40 minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. That I don't have a common with either of you. I'm in the 40 second club. All right, so. <laughs> and the final thing, Julia, you did uh, kiss. You did hug or kiss, Kevin. You chose kiss. <gasps> you could also uh, hug, kiss, or do other things with Reed. So before you see him. Um. Stand up and see how he would hug me. <gasps> oh! All right. Take it away. Let me put my mic down. Is that the kind of hug you wanted from Reed? That's the kind of hug I deserve every time I see my mom. Whoa. All right, so Julia, you will get one final question right now. Kevin already explained like his perfect date night. So Reed, our first date, what's it looking like? Fucking. <laughs> said you're adventurous, pretty athletic, so maybe we go somewhere in the park, rock climb a bit. Try to like... <laughs> Wait, just get... randomly rock climb? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Why hey. am I into it, though? Uh, oh. I, I mean, it's a good answer. And, I'll go climb some rocks. And, and Brandon, is she making a decision before she yes, sees? Yes, Harrison. So, Julia, the blindfolds are going to come off, and you will have a final decision. But right before that decision, you are gonna make one right now. What is your decision? Kevin or Reed? In five. Uh, everyone, everyone, we need to be dead silent because our decisions here are for the daters. I can't have both. No, the only way you can is if they both fuck you at the same time. <laughs> Um, no. Uh, well, you, would, would the guys be down for that? <laughs> you can't, hey, Kevin, would you, would you be okay with that? Uh, no. Nah. Nah. All right, you got... Nah. So you have to make a decision. So, so, Julia, you have to make an actual decision. This is, act, this is not a joke, so... All right, no pressure. Julia, what is your decision? Kevin or Reed in three, two, 
one. Kevin. You more are more attracted to in five, four, three, two, one. Uh. Wow. Is that hot? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you guys aren't down to share or no. None of this shit. This is a real, this is a real thing. This guy will, will fuck you one time and he'll run away. Like he's a, <laughs> so on a real, yeah, this, this guy, believe me, he's a toy. Uh, um, no, so on a real note, Julia, you gotta make a decision between these two guys. And this thing about our show, it's about pure honesty. There's no right or wrong answer. It doesn't matter what they think. Um, it doesn't matter what I think. What is your this actual decision? Is it Kevin or is it Reed in five, Four, three, two, one. Read. <laughs> oh, no. You said to keep it on it. Wow. Julia, just tell us why. So I'm gonna be honest. Kevin, you sound like a great guy. You're very sweet. You're very cute. It's, it's like giving relationship, like I'll wife you up. And I just don't know if I'm looking for that right now. <laughs> so I... <laughs> and we will not leave Kevin alone. Kevin, 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 Kevin. How you feeling, bud? I, I, I think it makes sense. I mean, look at Reed. You know, if she's looking for a, a more casual, physical relationship, that I, I, if I was looking for that, I would have picked Reed uh, too. Like, I mean, look at the guy. Whoa. You know. Well, well, Kevin, I have some good news. Because we have a girl backstage. Yeah! yeah! You two can go hump each other. Um, you're gonna go right that and, way. And make some noise for our first couple of the night. Clap it up. Kevin, throw the blindfolds on, brother. Yo, Kevin. What? Guys, give it up for Kevin. New York, give it up for Anne Marie. Yeah. Anne Marie. Hello. What do you want the crowd to know about you? Hello, New York. I want you to know that I am happy to be here on Valentine's Day. Dating in New York is hard, and hopefully, it's about to get better. Um, I think it will. And exactly what guy would make it better? I think I like a guy who knows what he wants. Uh, generally, I love to be active. I love to go dancing. And so someone who's down to be out and about um, and adventurous in a variety of ways. Someone who's really smart and funny uh -huh. and witty. Make me laugh. I mean, I mean. Uh, uh, and a, the a theme of tonight, um, you know, in, in Dallas, it was brass. Tonight, it's been about the butt. How, how important is, uh, is ass play when it comes to relationships and dating for you? Yeah, that... I said adventure is important. So I think exploring, you know, could be interesting. Have you ever, have you ever done that? Yes. Well, you are with the expert. Uh... <laughs> So, to your left, you have Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Kevin. Do you want to say anything, Kevin? Hi, Emery. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Kevin. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I think I check a lot of those boxes that you were uh, just describing. 
That's very good news. Dating in New York, about to get better. Can I feel beside yes. me? I feel like some physical touch would be good. Oh, what are your love languages? Physical touch is, is probably number one, but okay. really all of them in a way. <laughs> Okay, I like physical touch, too. That's important. Um, okay, I like this shoulder that I'm feeling, so good start. So, Brandon, there's actually a random lady in, in the crowd who said, I, I'll come up with Kevin. Oh! So, should we, ha should we give Kevin his, like, eighth girl tonight? So, let's have Kevin meet two girls and end off his night in a very happy way. All right, so, is there a lily in the crowd? You're gonna get your chance to lick Kevin's anus. No, I'm just kidding. She's in the bathroom. Oh, uh, well, we're moving on then. Well, she'll be out in one moment. Kevin, what's popping through your head as this girl as you're about to make a choice between two girls? I met a girl at... Uh, the bar on Saturday, whose name was Lily, and uh, I followed up and texted her, and she actually never responded, so I'm hoping it's not her. But other, other than that, uh, I'm excited. Uh, so, Anne-Marie, um, yes. as, this is, as this person's about to come out, do you want to put your arm over to him, over to Kevin here? I do. Is she going to be on the other side? Is this a little trio action that's about to happen? Do you like that? <laughs> Perhaps, yeah. <laughs> seen Kevin yet, but he has a good shoulder, so good Thank you. Start. Kevin, um, what was something that was missing from Julia previously that maybe you want with Anne-Marie? Probably somebody who's not just looking to screw around with the guy for a few times because he's Whoa. tall and chiseled and... Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, a little that's, bit deeper than that. That's a good question. Okay, so what are you looking for? What do you want? To meet someone who I can have uh, a, a good time with and, and enjoy being around for more than one night. Okay, because I came into tonight saying I would love to meet my person. We might as well manifest it. So. Wow! I mean... I'm open to it. I'm definitely open to it. You and Anne Marie, you guys can either hug or kiss, and you'll get yeah. ready to see each other. Yes. Yes. I, 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 you. You're, what would you, Kevin? You're calling Ray. That's okay with me. All right, I feel like you're a little far away here. Give it up for Kevin. Wow, that was, uh, that Kevin. That was enjoyable. I enjoyed that. <laughs> You're a good kisser. I think it's time for them to rip those blindfolds let's, off. Let's rip this shit off in five, four, three, two, one. Hello. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> wow. You're very pretty. Thank you. You're very handsome. Wow. Thank you. Kevin, what are you thinking, man? Yeah, she's gorgeous. I love your dress. I love your hair. I like what I'm looking at. Thank you. So, Brandon, we actually have a final twist on Valentine's Day. You guys ready for it? <laughs> we call it dessert, and that means Anne-Marie is gonna meet another guy. Wow! Yeah. All right, so Anne-Marie, you're gonna I sit in the middle Valentine's seat. Day. You're gonna go... And Amory, are you hungry for dessert? I am famished, starving, and ready for dessert. All right, so Harrison, let's bring that dessert out. New York, we have dessert, and that is Sam. Make some noise. We have Nick Jonas. <laughs> All right. Hi, Sam. Hello. All right, what's your name? I am Sam. I know. <laughs> I know, I just wanted to hear. So, what do you want? What? Whoa. Okay. Hi, Sam. Don't be nervous. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm better now. I like dessert. What's your name? Whoa. Uh -huh. uh, my name is Anne Marie. Two names. Cool. <laughs> Two names. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this dessert is yummy. Um, <laughs> so, Sam, what? 
if someone was eating you, if you were dessert, what kind of guy would they be eating? Well, like, describe yourself. Describe the dessert or describe myself? Yourself. You are the dessert. Oh! I'm actually not a huge dessert person, so <laughs> that's pretty awkward. Um, no, I mean, I'm the youngest of three, two older sisters, so I treat women with respect, obviously. I'm very uh, career-driven. Um, I love sports, love to uh, work out, hang out with friends, and yeah. Well, out of curiosity in your love life, what's the craziest thing that's happened to you recently? Um, so I was on a date a couple weeks ago, and we went back to the girl's apartment. Um, you know, one thing led to another. We started hooking up, and I found out that she had a little talent of her own. She, she knew how to squirt. <laughs> Wait, wow. what? Um, was she Either that or she was pissing. I don't know what it was. Wait, and that just randomly happened? I mean, she was like, do you want me to squirt? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? Anne-Marie, is that something that you're into? Uh, if you check my reviews, that's actually one of the most commonly uh, liked things, so. <laughs> Wow. Um, <laughs> and Kevin, what about you? Do you have a talent with that, just so we can close off this topic with everyone? I can make that happen. <laughs> wow. Um, and, how did you, uh, and how did you react to that there? Me? Yeah. Um, I was like, whoa. Like, that was kind of that was kind of cool. And she was like, do you want me to do it again? And I, I, I was like, how the hell? She could do it on command, so. I was honestly more like impressed. I was like, wow, you're pr that's pretty impressive. Brandon, uh, we have the, uh, the ass king and the squirt king, uh, you know, she's, choo she's choosing between. Um, I, yeah, Anne-Marie, what's one thing about each of these guys that would tell you if they'd be the best performer with you in the bedroom? Okay, I need to know more from Sam because he seems like surprised by the squirting situation and Kevin seems like he knows how to make it happen. Whoa! Yo, what? Kevin, 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 Kevin! Oh my God. So my review section is consistent, but it takes two to tango, if you know what I mean. So Sam, I, I do actually have a specific question for you. But How do you feel about being slapped? Oh. Knocked around a little bit. Wow. Uh, you a UFC fighter? Like... <laughs> like, are you gonna slap me in the face? How would you feel about that? Uh, <laughs> Got uh, it. Understood. Whoa! No, no, no. Like, I mean, Ke I'm not a Kevin, <laughs> I feel like it's happened before. Uh, you can be honest, though, Kevin. Are you cool with that? Because it sounds like this guy over here is not. No, it, to be honest, I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a big pain guy. So if we're talking playful slapping, I'm all about it. And I'll throw it your way too, but um, if, you're, if you're actually trying to inflict some pain, then uh, it, it turns me off. That's a green flag, okay. Wow. So what else do you need to know, Anne-Marie? Because this is a big decision for you that you're about to make. Same question for Sam. What are you looking for? What do you want? What's your best case scenario coming out of tonight? I think I'm looking for someone that's just way out of my league, to be honest. Like, <laughs> I'm a, I, I always think about like the kid in the friend group that has like a really hot girlfriend. And you're like, how the hell did he do that? Like, she is. She is. Wow. Well, Thank you, whoever you are. I, but anyways, she. I would love for her to be like smart, funny. <laughs> and Brandon, maybe the final thing. She did ask about the bachata dance. Maybe each guy standing up just shows what, what kind of dance they would do with her. All right, yeah. Stand up and both of you shake a little bit. I don't know what we're doing. You're gonna stand up and shake. Shake what? Your ass. 
Yeah. Do I get to watch? So we want, so both of you just show how you would dance. And here's what we're gonna do. The crowd is gonna cheer after they've danced to, this, to whoever they think did the best. I'm the worst dancer on they the They could planet. put on the updating song. <laughs> so put the song on in three, two, one. interested in? Kevin. Kevin! Do you want to kiss him? He's to your left. Yeah. Oh! Kevin! 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 Alright, so guys, this is about to get extremely intense. And you better buckle on your strap. I mean, put, on, put on your seatbelts. All right. Anne Marie and Sam, you guys are going to take your blindfolds off. And Anne Marie, you are going to point to the guy you are more interested in. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh. You're both so handsome. <laughs> no, where's the girl that went in the bathroom? Get the fuck up here! Where is she? Do you want to pitch yourself in there for Kevin? Yeah. I thought Kevin was very charming. And how, and I have a question, how did you feel, because two things just happened, the yeah. girls were interested in him both times before the blindfolds came off. <laughs> and they came off and they changed their decision to have, what did that make you feel? That made me feel upset. <laughs> and did you, did it, and did you, are you more attracted to him than, than Reed and Sam? I would say so. You are. So, Kevin, you see this girl right there? What do you think? I, I think she's very cute. Come up right now and fuck him. Lily, 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 come up to this guy, give him a nice kiss or whatever you want to do to him. You guys can, uh, you yeah. can kiss if you want. Please. Yeah, please. Can we bring up the first couple? Yeah, bring two? them we out. Three couple. How Come into on. this Come first on. guy Come are you? Into, into him. Or how, okay. you're very attracted to him. Okay, so I, I'm sure you have an amazing personality. Based on our initial conversation, I think maybe some other options could be helpful. Oh, um, you had Kevin though. I did, and Kevin, I think we would be such good friends. Oh. 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 Give it up for this couple. Give it up. Uh, you guys can go 
give it up. And Kevin, uh, what's what's gonna happen next here with Lily? Uh, we'll we'll chat. We'll see where things go. Take it off stage, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think um, I think you guys got a good shot right there. I do. We'll see, Brandon. We'll see. And 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 uh, Sam, my friend, what's going? Nick Jonas, what's going on, bro? I <laughs> I just got told I'm boring as shit, so that's well, not. No. <laughs> Yo. So on that note, we're gonna end our Valentine's Day show. If anyone out there, just raise your hand. We'll bring the mic to you. If you wanna, we call it the last minute steal. Oh, okay. Oh, you're, wow. Wow, that's easy. And what's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie. Guys, clap it up for Stephanie. And stand, stand up. And Stephanie, who did you wanna pitch yourself to? Kevin. Oh! Whoa! Bring her up! Bring her, come on up! Wow! Just climb up. All right, wait, hang right. Wow. You wanted Kevin too? Wait, she wants Kevin. Yeah! Yo, let's go. Yo, give it up. Kevin will have a choice between these three girls. Each of you say say one thing about yourself that makes you different than other other girls who would be interested in Kevin. I'm British. That's all. That's a mic drop. We're if we're gonna here. go there, I'm half Asian. Oh. And, uh, and Lily. Does Kevin have a microphone? I'm half Jewish, half Christian. Oh! oh. Yo, the half Jew! Yo, I have no fucking clue who he's gonna choose. So Kevin, is there anything you need to know before these three, right before you have your decision? Uh, yeah, I, I have a question for you and a question for them. I'm sorry, I just didn't catch, what were the names? So Lily. Stephanie. Stephanie. Megan. <laughs> and Megan. And I, can, I, can only, I can only pick one. Yes. Wait. Bra one. Brandon. 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 Uh, shit. <laughs> is there any last thing? Any, anything at all? No, I, I've been up here long enough. You have your decision. <laughs> Kevin, point to the girl you are more interested in. Five, four, three, two, one. Middle. Wow. Do you, do you guys want to give each other a hug? Give each other a hug. Wow. Oh. Irving Plaza, what a show. When that show started, I was invested. I'm like, wow, Kevin and Julia, they have legit chemistry. Like, this is gonna work out, then it works. Backstory about Kevin, that guy hit us up 200 times to be on the show. And then finally we answered it and we put this kid on the show and what he did on, on that stage is unforgettable. Then Reed came up and like, I thought she was gonna stick with Kevin. And when she went with Reed, my heart stopped. Julia is Rachel McAdams, right? That was the story we wanted to tell. She is a rom-com, likable, beautiful. So it was really, I, it, look, it was emotional when Kevin got rejected once. And then when Kevin was then rejected again, it was, it really hurt. I'm like, wow. My head was thinking the entire time there's gotta be some form of happy ending. Like, I know every, the crowd and anyone who watches was like, this guy's such a good dude. How is no one gonna validate that? And then when all of those girls stormed the stage at the end, I was like, wow, that was so epic. This was just a fun job. Look, shout out to the audience. If you were in this room, you are fucking cool. Message my personal Instagram right now if you're at Irving Plaza, because I'm, I'm just gonna tell you thank you. Yeah, by the way, like DM me too. Um, I, I, like for real, I would, I, I'll, I'll answer. I love hearing from fans. I love talking about the show. Join our community. We have a lot of exciting stuff coming. Thank you so much for watching week in and week out. And as you can see, every show is entirely different. One night could be this, one night can be that, but guess what, they are all different and they're all entertaining. So please keep hitting subscribe.